So you met someone and you're like, I think they're really interested in me. You're getting cute text messages. They're planning dates for the future and they're showering you with compliments. And then all of a sudden something changes. Something feels off. The texts are less frequent. The plans never materialize. And you're starting to wonder, are they really into me? Did I do something wrong? Well, this, my friend, is called breadcrumbing. So I'm gonna talk about the five signs of breadcrumbing so that you know how to avoid it. And for more tips on how to take charge of your love life, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And don't forget to like this video. Breadcrumbing is a tactic people use to string you along with minimal effort. Sign number one is inconsistent communication. This person will sporadically text you here and there. They'll say, hey, how are you? I miss you. I've been thinking about you. And you're thinking, oh my gosh, when you get the text, you're like excited thinking this person is really interested in me. But then all of a sudden, as you get into conversation, and you ask them a question, they disappear. And they don't text you for another couple of days, a few weeks. And then they text you, hey, I miss you. How have you been doing? I haven't heard from you. Oh, I'm so sorry. I totally thought I responded to you, but I didn't. And then you talk to them again, and then the cycle happens again. They disappear. <laughs> It is so emotionally taxing because you think that their intentions are true, but they're really just bringing you along so that they can keep their hooks in you without making a lot of effort. You deserve more than mixed messages. So if somebody's sending you these kind of sporadic messages, take it as a sign that they're not that interested in you. Sign number two, they make vague plans with no follow through. So they'll send you messages like, hey, let's hang out and go to dinner. And you get excited. You're like, oh my gosh, I haven't heard from this person. I was really attracted to this person. Maybe this might actually happen. So then you respond, I'm free next week. Let's hang out. And then you get crickets. You don't hear anything from them. They never pin down a date, a time, a place. And you're sitting there going, why are you reaching out to me unless you want to actually hang out? No, that's not the case. No, they don't want to hang out. They just want their hooks in you so that they can keep you emotionally tied to them so that you can give them attention and meet their needs. It's really not about making you a priority or respecting your time. It's about making them feel good about themselves. Sign number three is hot and cold behavior. They will shower you with compliments, lift you up on top of this pedestal, and then right when you're feeling safe, secure, they will knock you down and totally disregard you. Like you are nobody that's important to them. This is a tactic a lot of narcissists play to manipulate and control you because you start trying to earn their love. So know that if you start seeing this hot and cold behavior, this is a red flag you shouldn't ignore. Sign number four is they leave you on the back burner. They say, yeah, let's make plans. We're gonna do this. And then you're getting excited. You've already found the place that you're gonna be going to. All of a sudden they get a phone call and somebody has a better plan and something more fun for them to do. They call and they cancel on you last minute. They have no respect for your time and your efforts. Instead, they're more worried about their own happiness and what's more fun for them to do. So they constantly leave you in the back burner. If they don't have anything great to do, then they'll go out with you. But if they have something better, they'll cancel on you last minute or change plans and they just constantly leave you in the dark so that you're not feeling like a priority. Sign number five is they avoid deep conversations. Listen, somebody that's really interested in you wants to get to know you. They want to know what your passions are, what your fears are. They wanna get vulnerable with you so they can develop deep intimacy with you and it teaches them how to treat you. Somebody that is a breadcrumber is not gonna go deep with you. They're going to stay on surface level conversations. If you start talking about the future, if you start talking about serious topics, they redirect to activities and fun or they just kind of ghost you because they don't want to go deep with you. If somebody's doing this to you, they're showing you that they don't want a meaningful relationship with you. It's important to know that you deserve to be treated like a priority. Do not waste your time on relationships that don't invest in you the way that you invest in them. 
Be the chooser. Sit back and screen people. If you see these five signs, then it's somebody that is not worth investing in. So now that you know the signs of a breadcrumber, it's important for you to know how to avoid them. First, I want you to set boundaries and expectations with them. That means if they're planning a date with you, tell them to be specific on the date, where they wanna meet up, what time, and if this person's constantly kicking the can and stringing you along, don't fawn after them, don't people please. See it as a person that isn't treating you like a priority and you can walk away from that relationship. The second thing I want you to do is pay attention to their actions and words. You know, when people make promises, they can sound great. It makes you so excited inside, but reality is none of that matters unless they're actually following through. Someone that follows through with their promises shows you that you can trust them and that there's somebody worth investing in. So now I wanna hear from you. Have you been breadcrumb before and how did you deal with it? Leave your comments and questions below, I do reply. Otherwise, if you need support in finding that emotionally available partner that doesn't breadcrumb you, please visit me at amythedatingcoach.com. I have private coaching and group coaching workshops to help support you find lasting love. Thank you so much for joining me today and I will see you in the next video.